Welcome. This is Melinda Barlow, CZT, Certified Zen Tango Teacher, and it's a beautiful summer afternoon, and I'm outside, so you might hear my rooster crow or other different um, animals or traffic. I don't know, but I just decided I'd film outside today. I had have much better lighting when I'm outside, so we're filming out today's um, tangle pattern is Pixolzy, Pix, Pixiolzy. I'm sure I didn't say that correctly by Margaret Burner, but we'll see Pixiolzy. And it's this one right here. These little ones that I've done around my um, Mary Hill. And so we're just going to start out, and I'm just going to do the tile Pixie Olsie. And Margaret starts out with just dots. And I'm going to make several dots on my tangle in random. I mean, on my tile in random. And you notice I didn't put string or border just because for this uh, demonstration of this um, tangle I decided not to. We just put... And I filled mine in. I like to black the mine in. I like that look. And now we're just going to draw circles around the outside. This is a lot like C's in Zentangle.com, but you're going to see a little difference. In a little while, you're going to see how it's a little different. And I'm putting two circles around right now. Around each one of these dots I did, I'm putting two circles. You could put three or four if you wanted, but for right now, I've just decided to do two. I may, oh, we could go back and put three. That would just give us some different sizes. And now I'm going to put a leaf shape and echo in that leaf shape. This is a very simple tangle. But I'm going to show you what you can do to really fill this freehand tangle in. And I'm just going to put leaf shapes on every single one of these and then echo in. I'm going to draw another circle around here. And if you put your dots really close together, good for you. I tend to never put my dots close enough together that I really like the random look until I tried this one and I did a little fill in. I'm going to show you how fun you can go back and fill in to make them look really crowded like I did on this particular tangle. I love that crowded look that you can get. Okay, so now I'm going to go back and I'm just going to put a dot here and echo around. And if I run into one of mine, I'm going to do the holly ball effect. Put another dot right here. And immediately I ran into things. This is going to crowd these up and make them look, you know, give it that look of Zentangle want, that, that mis for me it's a mysterious look of how did you do that? Because we did them far apart and then we come back and fill in behind there. We can still even give another leaf shape. And then a dot. And remember.
remember to do that holly ball effect. Anywhere there's a, sh um, a hole, we're going to fill in with another tangle. Do a little one with the little leaves on it. And we just keep going so that they become very crowded and fill in all those spaces. So, we just draw, we can add another leaf to that underneath one. We can even put one here, you think that's really tiny. But we're going to go ahead and put another one back there behind. And to shade this one, this is kind of a fun one to shade because you can just Pick some ways. I'm just going to shade like the center of that little leaf. And then use my blending stem and blend it out. This one could be colored in what if you want. But there you have Pixolzy by Margaret Burner. And thanks, Margaret. That's a great tangle. And my chickens and roosters are going crazy. I don't know if you can hear it. But it's a great day to be outside to draw. So enjoy this um, tutorial. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so. If you feel inclined to um, support this channel, it's greatly appreciated. And thanks for watching.